because of TikTok and comments, you can surface that in real time as it's happening. So it's just, there's nothing that you can't find out now. Right? Yeah. It's not like, we, we used to find out about stuff from like reading it in earnings reports or in the news three, four, five months after it happened. Now, you can detect this change in consumer behavior in real time as it's happening. So how many trades you placed this year? Uh, like high conviction trades or just trades in general? I want to know high conviction, but I thought you were very picky, so I, I yeah. would be surprised if it's a big number. Yeah, no, like th maybe three or four high conviction and, and maybe like seven or eight trades over the year. So like, that makes sense. But like, like one a month, about. One a month? Yeah. Okay. Why? I mean, I feel like because in your history, you, sometimes you'll place about one to three a, a year sometimes, right? Well, I've, I've been increasing that over the past few years because a lot of what I do is based on the amount of change happening in the world. Yeah. And now there's more change happening more quickly than ever before. So there's more opportunities mm. to trade change in culture or change in consumer behavior. And also there's, it's easier for me today to surface that change than it was six, seven years ago because like TikTok and comments, like everyone's talking about everything that they do in real time. So like I'm spending almost four hours a day just sifting through TikTok comments because like if something is changing in the world, if people are starting to buy this more and buy that less or they're into that brand, but they're not into that brand or they're changing the things that they do every day, they're talking about it in real time. Mm. So like all of that information is readily available for people like me just to kind of observe and surface where, you know, seven, eight years ago, I was trying to do that on Twitter and that was a bad play because people kind of, st there was a point in time when people stopped discussing what they were doing every day on Twitter and they only started talking about politics and news, mm. but we didn't really have TikTok in the way that we have now. Yeah. But now TikTok is like, is like what Twitter was 15, 16 years ago, right? <clears throat> and more. So like I now have a place to find out all this stuff. So like the, the, the number of opportunities is increasing. I would actually it's like say- doubled, right? Yeah, I would actually say this is, this is the best time in my life to be a social arbitrator because there's more things happening and it's easier than it's ever been to actually detect the things that are happening. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, can and, you elaborate and, a little bit on that? I'll give you an example of one of my trades from this year, actually. So Free People, okay, which is like a division of Urban Outfitters, okay. Free yep. People, like they were the, the hottest middle school brand going into back to school this year. And that's something that just like, there was no way to really detect that a few years ago, but now because of TikTok, you can go on and actually see that all these 13, 14, 15 year olds are just obsessing over the same things and they're coming from like these four or five stores and one of them was free people, right? Mm. So like because of TikTok and comments, you can surface that in real time as it's happening. So it's just, there's nothing that you can't find out now. Right? Yep. It's not like we, we used to find out about stuff from like reading it in earnings reports or in the news three, four, five months after it happened. Now you can detect this change in consumer behavior in real time as it's happening. It's like you don't have to like go to the mall and look around. That's like like what Peter Lynch did 35 years ago. Yep. You know, like yep. you could actually get your insight into every consumer in the world pretty much in real time. Yeah. 24 hours a day. <clears throat> How do you go from you see an idea, on, you're reviewing comments. When you say that, what do you mean exactly? Like, yeah, are you, like, like are so you just... You're actually on TikTok. Sometimes you're just letting the algo kind of push you in different directions based on what's trending. Yeah. And other times you're searching things on TikTok and that's a whole nother conversation, but you have yeah. to know what to search for. Uh, but it's not about what people are making videos on. Sometimes it is. It's more about, okay, someone's making a video on that. Now let me read the 1500 comments on that video because just because someone's making a video on this product that they're hyped about, 
let's read what the other 1500 comments have to say about that if everyone's like oh me too me too like like oh i tried to buy that in st louis it sold out i tried to get that in kentucky it sold out oh my gosh my whole school here in fort lauderdale is freaking out we're all trying to get that like all of a sudden you have access in a 1500 comment stream of like seeing people around the world talking about this and in the past that would be a tremendous amount of research now you can do it off the comment stream in one TikTok video. So it's like, it's an amazing, like, just data source, right? Yeah. Like there's it's so amazing. much valuable data sitting in the comments of TikTok, of TikTok videos. That's amazing. Um, well, look, Chris, yeah. I appreciate you so much being on the show today. Of course. And if anyone has any questions for you, how can they find out more about you? Uh, yeah, dumbmoney.tv has like all the socials for me and my two YouTube partners, my two trading partners, Jordan and Dave, and, uh, or at Chris Camillo, Twitter. Like, we openly talk about everything that we do. Yes, That's the do. thing, like we don't, like, hey, if we're, if, we, if we're onto something, we talk about it, we have a Discord community, it's all free. Like, we just help each other surface things and vet things, poke holes in our thesis, right? Yep. That's what it's all about. Uh, being a retail trader is working together so we can all, right, we're all fighting the same people or we're against the institutional traders, right? Yep. So, like, Together, or way more powerful than any institutional like trader, right? Absolutely. So, well, look, like, thanks, Chris. Thanks. I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate it so it. much, brother. Thank you.